Hey, just quite welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool mech here. Depends on what this is, it's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So this is the latest one that came out recently and a lot of people have been talking about it because of how good and how amazing the product is compared to the previous version. I think it's been a few years and they actually upgraded this from the Pocket 2. And obviously it's a huge upgrade from the Pocket 1. I think the first time when I made this video for the Pocket 1, that one was actually pretty cool already, but there's a lot of features on there that I didn't uh, like or didn't have what I needed. This one doesn't have the one feature that I still want on here with the zooming option, which kind of sucks, but it still has a lot of stuff on here that is very powerful for what you guys do get, especially for the quality that you do get, since it is giving you guys the 4K option on here, the one inch option on here for the lens, the rotatable screen option, three access gimbal stabilizer, active track, uh, where actually keep you guys in frame. Also for this product, it does have the full pixel fast focusing option on here when you guys use it. The d lock M, the 10-bit option, still recording from different directions, and it is a pocket size that's very small and compact. And for the product, just like before, it does have the wide angle lens to give you guys a pretty big coverage when you guys do use it. They mentioned how it does give you guys the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, and it gives you guys the battery handle for you guys to use, which is pretty awesome. So you pretty much get all this for the creator combo, but if you guys get the regular one, just the product itself without everything else, then you probably will not get as much stuff, so keep that in mind. But pretty much in the front right here, they do probably got the image of what the product looks like. And in the back part right here, they show you guys what's included, which is pretty much everything that I told you guys just now. And then right here, show you guys everything that's included for the accessories, etc. And obviously, since it is a DJI product, you probably have to download the app to use it or to get more of the benefit of the product. So let's open up and show you guys what's included inside for the creator combo. So I'm pure and start right here. And if you guys do open up, once you guys open up, that's what the inside looks like. If you guys do take it out, inside right here, they do provide guys a bunch of user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it and the warranty and etc. And supposedly it has like an AI uh, editor for you guys to use. So the AI editor app is called Light Cut. So you probably can download that on here, which they do provide guys that information on here for the user manual. But inside right here, there is a box. And here we do have the case with the product inside. But let's see what's in here first. So inside right here, let's see what's included. So inside right here, they do give you guys a user manual for this product or this accessory here, which is pretty much the protective cover. You can see this actually looks like when you guys do take it out. So I'm assuming this is the protective cover for you guys to put it onto the product, but we'll figure out how to put this on in a second. But you can see and feel the inside right here, it has this very nice soft fabric to protect the product when you guys do feel it. And they even tell you guys what you have to put on here or how you have to face it. So this part right here, you have to face the wide angle lens and this part right here is the back pro mist. We'll figure out how to put everything together in a second when we do take it out. But that's everything inside the small box. Now let's take out this wrapper here. So let's do take it out. Once you guys take it out, this is what the pot looks like. So they do give you guys this waterproof case so that way water can not get inside, which is really awesome. And this part right here, we do have this hook option for you to hang it somewhere if you guys do want to. Fan part right here does say DJI. And then right here, we got a zipper for you guys to open up. So let's do open it. Once you guys do open it, there's a lot of stuff inside right here. But right here, we do have the actual product, which we will take a look at in a second. Let's see what's included for the creative combo first. So obviously, you do get the cover or the case here for you guys to store everything inside. And the inside right here, they do provide guys a uh, USB-C to USB-C cable that you can use. They do provide guys like the wind muffler or the windscreen option. So we do take it out. Here is the windscreen option for you guys to use. And then right here, they do provide guys a wrist strap option for you guys to use. Next up right here is a small little accessory. Let's see what is in. This one looks like it's the wide angle lens that's included for you guys to use. So it's probably an attachment for you guys to use. So I'll figure out how to use that in a second. But if you see on the side right here, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video or not, but they do tell you guys what lens it is. So it is a 0.75 by 15 uh, mm. Next thing that we have inside right here, let's open this up. So this one right here, I believe it is the handle of the 1 4th uh, thread. So I believe I can plug it in here for you guys to use it. So they even show you guys how you can use it right here. If you guys do press the button, it will release the top part to hold it in. This side right here is USB-C, top part is USB-C, and right here we do have the option for you guys to screw it somewhere. So we'll figure out how to use that in a second as well. Next up right here, this one right here, it looks like it is the battery handle. So same thing for this one, the button for you guys to press to open it up to release it. We do have the USB-C option on top and USB-C option on the side or the back. And the bottom part right here, we do have the screw option for you to screw somewhere if you guys want to as well. So I think this is a longer version of this one right here, but it works the same way. So feel free to use either one of them. Next up right here, we do have the stand for you guys to use or the tripod option. Or if you guys want to just screw it on to either one of these I show you guys here, just screw it on like this. 
and that way the top part right here is where you guys can attach it on the actual product so that way it can be even longer for a better recording experience and when you guys are recording by yourself just open it up and put it onto a flat surface to record it like that which is pretty awesome and the very last thing that we have inside right here or actually there's a few more things but right here we see we do have the dji uh, mic so this one right here they call the dji mic 2 transmitter so feel free to use this option if you guys want to do recording but if you guys do have your own feel free to use your own i love the way how to design it because they do have the brand name here but the inside right there you can see the internal parts and then here we got the power button the other button here the option for you guys to plug it into uh, recharge it and here we do have the recording button for you to use the way how to design the clip option and clip it onto your shirt or i believe you can also put it onto hot shoe if you guys do need to as well the bottom part right here they do have the wire charging option if you guys do have the wire charging option slot for you to put it in and the top part right here is the microphone where you can record the audio so the very last thing inside right here this looks like it's a dji mic 2 uh, clip magnet so the whole point of this is for you guys to put it into your clothes let me show you what i mean so for example if i do put the magnet inside right here and here we got the product if you guys do stick it on the magnet can stay right there so that way when you guys are recording stuff if you guys want to keep the microphone there to make it look a little bit more professional instead of clipping on somewhere you can get a hands-free experience so feel free to move it around if you guys do need to but make sure the inside of the magnet follows it otherwise it'll fall off so very cool how they do have this option for you guys to clip it onto your shirt on the inside and that is pretty much everything that's included in the package so very nice how they do provide this case for you guys to store everything inside to keep it all organized but last but not least right here we do have the actual product so let's take a look and see what's on here so on the bottom right here is where you guys want plug in cable to recharge it which is USB-C. top part right here we do have the lens for you guys to use and like i mentioned earlier we do have the uh, wide angle lens so let's do stick it on here you guys can use the wide angle lens on here if you guys want to so because they do have this option available for you it's actually pretty nice so that way it kind of works as a zoom option for you guys to zoom in and out to make it wider or closer which is pretty cool still kind of wish that they do have the zoom option on here but this will do for now i also love how it's magnetic so that way it's very easy for you guys to put it on when you guys need it and remove it when you guys don't and as usual this part right here it is a gimbal stabilizer so it will move by itself to keep you guys in frame also give you guys a very stabilized image when you guys do use it which is pretty awesome right here i believe we do have the power button for you guys to use and here we do have the knob for you guys to select stuff when you guys are using it and then right here we do have the screen this screen is a lot bigger than your normal screen and also allow you guys to turn it that way you guys can record stuff in this angle or the other way and i believe the way how it works is that once you guys turn it it will turn on by itself and it also probably got instruction right here in terms of how to use it so feel free to take a look at that and remember that if you guys need it so they mentioned how when you guys rotate the screen that's how you turn it on and off right here is the shutter and record button that they say right here this side right here is the joystick option for you to use they tell you guys to press it once to power on and power off they mentioned how you guys can press it once to power on take photos or record press and hold the button to power off here and then side right here we do have the slot for the micro sd card slot for you guys to use so feel free to use that option if you guys do need to i do recommend that you guys do use something that's extreme or extreme pro so in this case i'll use this one here which is extreme so all you need to do is just insert it in make sure to put it in the correct side and push it in and it's all set to start using it and i believe for the part right here the front part right here is probably the microphone that you guys can use for the built-in audio when you guys do that and if your first time using the product you do want to move the film right here and then you guys are pretty much ready to start using it so one right now is to turn it on and show you guys what it looks like first so once you guys turn it on they tell you guys to set up the product first and then right here I tell you guys to uh, connect it onto the app which is called the dji memo so i'm actually download that first and it will proceed to next step once you guys do download the app right here it tells you guys that it found a device so you do want to connect in so right now i'm connecting onto my phone so i'm gonna log into my account and everything first i might have to create one because i don't remember if i do have or not all right so as i'm setting up right now they give you guys an option for something called a dji care uh refresh card so i'm assuming that's like an accidental uh protection plan that you guys can sign up for if you guys uh want to so i feel like if you guys are planning to do a lot of action shot or even a lot of recording uh, when you guys are doing a lot of action things or even recording like water sports or something you probably want to get a plan they're supposed to give you guys like four replacement in two years or something but you have to do more research on your own time as right now i'll just skip it for now and probably take a look at the information to make sure if i want it or not first and then right here they do show you guys what you guys do get on here when you guys do use the product so feel free to take a look so right now i'm connecting and joining on to the product here that we can show you guys what it looks like on the app so it might take a few seconds so right now it's doing an update i've been seeing i'll let it finish doing an update first all right so i got it all set up and i currently have connected onto my phone as well 
But because we do have the screen on here, I won't really need to show you guys too much on the phone, but I will show you guys in a second. But when the Android is on here, just by playing with it a little bit, it definitely had a lot of feature on here in terms of what I actually wanted earlier. So for example, if I do press this up right here, and you see how it does zoom forward, and it does zoom out. So very nice how they actually have that feature on here that the first version does not have. I'm not sure if the second version have it or not because I did not purchase the second one because I uh, didn't need it at the time and I didn't really think it had that feature on there. So if it did have that feature that I'm very behind, but for this one, it definitely has that feature on here, which is really cool. That way you guys can really zoom in and zoom out to whatever distance you guys want, which is really awesome. So whether if you guys are using this side or if you guys want to turn the other way, you do have the option to use it on either side. So definitely very cool how she has the option available on here. And the way how to design it actually allow you guys to turn the gimbal on here or the camera. So for example, if you guys are using this way, if I want to rotate this press right here, and see how it turns towards your way. And now that we do have the gimbal on, it pretty much keeps it in frame. So that way everything that's being recorded is very stable, even no matter how I shake my hand, which is really awesome. And there's actually a lot of setting on here where you got to change. For example, if I go here, you do have the option to use all the different settings on here. So whether you want to use that, if you guys want to change landscape, portrait, and etc., you do have different options available. We do have the setting option on here. You can connect it on the microphone. You do have the brightness option, the face focus option, and all these other options available on here for you guys to use, which is pretty awesome. If you guys swipe up, you do have the option to change the quality and the frame rate. So it's 1080p, 4K, and 2.7. If you guys swipe this way, you do have the option to use pro mode or your normal mode when you guys do use that. So feel free to adjust everything on here based on your own needs. And everything on here will show you guys if you guys are using photo, low light setting, if you guys are using time lapse, etc. Feel free to change it wherever it needs. So a lot of feature on here, which is pretty awesome. And just feel free to change the setting on here if you guys want landscape or not. If you guys want to use it this way, use like this, or even turn it this way to use as well. Which is pretty awesome. I really like this design here, how you guys can just turn it to activate it, which is pretty awesome. And because I do have a brand new product or this brand new SD card inside right here, I do need to format it first. So the way how I do that, I want to go to the setting page and just scroll down to right here until you guys see format to format your card. So let's format it first. So right now I'm formatting a card. Might take some time to format it or it's done there. So once you guys format it, let me see it, show you guys how much space that I do have here, which is 238 gigabytes, which is more than enough space to use, but I'll probably get more later on. Let me change it back to the other way. All right, so we got it all set up. And notice how the top right here, it does show you guys the battery percentage of the device. So make sure to fully charge it first. So definitely right off the bat, one of the coolest thing about this product is the fact that how it does have the zoom option on here that I really wanted for the product that didn't have it on the first uh, version. So definitely a huge step of where they came from. And I also love how they do show you guys how much time is left on here for the recording time, which is around six hours left, which is more than enough time. And before I actually go test it out, let me show you guys how to use some accessories on here. So earlier when I show you guys the wind muff option is for the microphone here, just insert it in. And that way you can use like that and just clip it onto your shirt to use it when you guys are using an outdoor setting. Or if you guys want to use the built-in mic on here, feel free to do so as well. But if you guys do use accessory on here, like I mentioned, feel free to use this one or the other one. Just plug it in like this. Once you guys plug it in, you guys can plug in the cable in the back to recharge it. So for example, if I do plug it in here, once I plug it in, it show you guys that charging right there. If you can see. So make sure when you guys use the product to fully charge it first before you do use that. But that's pretty much one way for you guys to use the accessory here. If you guys want to use the other one, just unplug it here, press the button to release it, and pull it out. And if you guys want to use this one here, insert it in, and also plug in cable here as well. Once I plug it in, it tells you guys that's updating the battery handle. So I'm assuming this handle right here allow you guys to use it as like a power bank if you guys want to, to keep it charged. And there's a film right here for you guys to move in. So if you guys do a move in, that is what the part looks like. So if I do tap on the battery compartment here, it show you guys the battery percentage for the actual device and also right here in the bottom, which is pretty cool. So I think the same thing will happen for the other one when you guys do the small one. Let's give it a try. If I do take it out, put this one on here. If you guys do tap on battery here, let me plug in cable first. It starts charging. Doesn't look like anything's happening. 
So I think this is the only one that allow you guys to use it as an extra battery option or maybe this one as well. But as of right now, only this one show you guys how there's extra battery on here when you guys do them. So just to show you guys again, you guys plug it back in. If you guys do plug in cable to charge it, it starts charging and tap right here. And it show you guys the battery percentage for both here and here. That way you can get a longer battery life when you guys do that, which is pretty awesome. But definitely the main winner about this product so far is the zooming option. I really wanted a zooming option. And I'm really glad how this one actually has the option. So I'll keep that charged for now. And what I want to do right now is probably to put on the last accessory on here to show you guys what she looks like. And if you guys want to use the wrist strap option, feel free to do so. So the way how I use the last accessory on here, I probably have to close everything first. So once you guys turn it, it turns off and it goes back there. If I do turn this one right here. So last but not least, we do have the protective case here. So what you want to do is to take off the wide angle lens and put it inside right here. Because they do have a magnetic design to hold it in place right there, you can see. Once you guys close everything on here, you guys can put it inside. And that way it protects everything inside right here because it is a case to hold everything inside. It's a very nice design for what you guys do get right here and see. If you guys want to put this inside right here, it should fit inside even with the case on. That way everything is protected inside. And feel free to put everything back inside. That way you guys know where your cable is going to be and all your different accessories. And if you guys are curious about what the app looks like when you guys got it all connected and downloaded it on here, uh, this is what the app looks like. So you pretty much get everything on here that you guys would normally get on the actual product. So there's a record button, there's a low light option, slow motion, photos, panoramic option, and live streaming option if you guys want to use that on here. And I do want to mention that when you guys are charging the product, you probably want to turn it off. So right now what I want to do is probably just turn it off for now. But I want to show you guys what's on here for now on the app, just for you guys who are interested. So that's pretty much everything that's included for the product. What I'm going to do right now is to do a few tests, either using indoor setting and outdoor setting, using the low light setting to show you guys what the difference is when you guys use it. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. It definitely looks really good. And I love how it does give you guys the face tracking option to keep you guys in frame. And currently I am using it in a 4K quality you can see. And I love how it does give you guys a zooming option on here for you guys to use, which is really awesome. And I do want to mention that when you guys do activate the face following option or face enabling option or face tracking option, you guys cannot zoom. So when you guys don't have it in zoom, you can see how right now I am zooming it uh, in and out because I don't have the face tracking option or face enabling or the face enabling option on. So I love how they do have the option on here for you guys to zoom it in and out. That way you can get a closer view if you guys want to on top of the wide angle lens that you guys do get on the creative uh, kit. So right now we're using an area that there's a lot of wind. I'm not sure there's enough wind, but there's definitely some wind in the background right now. Hopefully I can hear the wind. If not, it's fine. Now let me put on the wireless microphone to show you the difference of with, without it. All right, so now we have the wireless microphone on. It's definitely a lot more windier now. If you can see how there's like wind blowing in this part here. So we're really in the middle of somewhere where there's like a lot of wind coming in. So this what she sounds like with the wind in the background when you guys do it with the wireless microphone. All right, so I want to do another test on here to show you guys what she sounds like again, but this time it's a little bit more windier. So this what she sounds like with the audio on the actual product with the wind in the background. There's definitely a lot more wind now coming from this direction if it's in here. All right, so it's a lot more windier now if it's in here. Not sure if it's in here in the background or not, but there's definitely a lot more wind now and it's blowing towards me at the moment, so it's perfect to blow on here. That way we can really hear the difference of what it sounds like when you guys use it in a windy setting. If I didn't hear it earlier, when we use it on the um, built-in microphone on here, you guys can definitely hear the wind in the background. Now I'll try on here and see whether or not there's a difference when you guys do listen on here with the built with the wireless microphone on here. All right, so I just removed the microphone and listened to the audio, and you guys can definitely hear that there's a huge difference when you guys use the wind mic or windscreen option on the wireless microphone. Like right now, if you guys do hear, you guys can really hear all that wind that's being blown on the microphone to show you guys how windy it is. So definitely using the wireless microphone that's included part of the creator combo is really helpful to use an outdoor setting when it is very windy. But that's what it actually looks like when you guys use on here. Alright, so this one actually looks like with a wide angle lens on here. So it's an attachment you guys can stick on like I mentioned. So if you guys want to move it, just remove it like this. 
So it's not like a huge difference, but it's a little bit different to make it a little bit more wider and give you guys a lot more coverage if you can see. So feel free to use a wide angle option on here if you guys want to. So I press on record, it's detecting the face immediately. And enable my face tracking option. And once I see my face on here, it will start recording. So I press on record, it's detecting the face immediately. And enable my face tracking option. And once I see my face on here, it will start recording. So I've been recording the image on here or using the product for roughly an hour right now and it went down from 100% to 46% so far and that's only for the backup battery. I still have 100% battery right now on my actual uh, Pocket 3 itself. So, so far so good. It will last you guys quite a while, especially if you guys do get the backup battery. So if you guys end up getting like another backup battery just ready, you can just plug it in and use it. Or you can just plug in like a USB-C cable to keep it charged as well. But I'll probably buy a few more just in case to have it back up and ready to use. Alright, so right here we are using it in an outdoor setting somewhere else. I wanted to come here to give it a try to show you guys what the image probably looks like when you guys use it on here. And also show you guys the face tracking when I do put it down on a flat surface. And also in the kind of like a windy setting as well. And also the reason why I want to show you guys here is so that way I can really test out like the low light setting on here when it does get dark later on. So this is what it actually looks like in the daytime when you guys use on here with the face tracking option when you guys use on this product. So I'll just come back and do this test later on when it does get a little bit darker to show you guys what it looks like in daytime versus nighttime. So just to show you guys what the image body looks like before and after you guys do add the wide angle lens again. This is before you guys add the wide angle lens, which is right here. It's very tiny. But once I do add it on, that's what it should look like. So the little minor difference when you guys do use it and see. So I do remove again. This is a very, very small difference when you guys do use it. But I definitely love the fact that how you do have the option to stick it on here when you guys are not using it. That way I know where exactly it's going to be and you guys can put your um, camera back in here to protect it and everything, which is pretty cool. And you guys always have the option to buy the black pro mist option for the filter option on here if you guys want to put it on there as well, which is pretty cool. So that's what the wide angle lens looks like when you guys use it with and without it. Alright, so right now it's in a dark setting because it's at night time now. You can see this what it looks like when you guys use it in a dark setting like right now. So there is some light coming out from the room over here, but this is what it looks like when you guys do use it in a dark area. If I do hold it up and show you guys what it looks like when you guys really do use it. So for example, if I were to like jog on here in a dark setting. This is what the image quality looks like when you guys do use in a dark setting like this, which looks pretty cool. So even when you guys do use at night, it does seem like it's pretty good. Especially when you guys use the face tracking option on here, it does keep you guys in frame. Welcome back guys. So I'm seeing from the test when you guys do use the product, it definitely works really well. Everything about like the video quality, the mic quality, everything sounds so good and I love everything that's included for you guys. It's probably my brand new go-to camera that I'll probably start using because it gives you guys such a high quality image quality, resolution on here is pretty good. It's so small and compact that you guys can just bring this along with you guys anywhere to record stuff, especially in an amusement park or something. I think this is probably a game changer for a lot of uh, new content creator to use. That way I don't have to carry something so big. I can use something uh, a lot smaller to bring along with me anywhere, which is pretty awesome. And especially because the mic on here is so good, you don't have to add another mic on here, even though they do have the option available for you guys to use that transmitter option on here. That's also really nice as well. And if you guys do get like the creator combo kit, they actually give you guys so much stuff on here, especially like the wide angle lens as well. If you can see the difference on there when you guys use it with and without it. I feel like for this product, it's probably one of the best products that I tested out so far. And it might be something that I'll probably start using a lot because it literally has everything that you guys need as a creator. 
but that's pretty much everything that's on the pattern. Now that I show you guys what pot looks like and how it does work, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this pot, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality vlogging camera that gives you guys everything that's all in this one smaller device in terms of the zooming option, the gimbal stabilizer option, face focus option or the face tracking option, the new one inch sensor option on here and so much more, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.